Hi Libra, Life of Tarotchi back with another Tarot reading. Today Libra, we're connecting in with your energy. Um, we're reading your energy for March 2024. So I'm currently recording this reading on the 23rd of February at 6.25 a.m. Okay, so um, this reading will be for Libra with anyone with Libra placements in their chart. Welcome. Okay, so just connecting in with your energy, Libra, Libras, Libra Collective, or Libra placements. Okay, what's coming in for March 2024? Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, the divine source of light, and any past loved ones who are approved by the divine source to communicate. Um, feel free to pass through your messages okay um, we've got past lives cars and vehicles okay interesting energy all right let's see what's coming in for Libra okay <clears throat> all right March 2024 spirit let's do this what can Libra expect Okay, all right, Libra, okay, so we have, we'll start on the outside, okay, we've got creative director in the 12th house, so this is talking about um, energy in the subconscious, the dream state, um, and uh, connection to spirit. So that's coming out of the 12th house. So there's some good energy there with being creative um, and directing your creativity or directing others through create creative um, means. We have loan coming out um, all the way on the outside. So this is um, maybe someone's loaning you money or you're loaning someone else some money. So that's that's coming out all the way over there. So we'll pop that over there. Um, we have audio and speech, and it's specifically sitting on a Tuesday, okay? So there's something that's going to be vocalized or spoken, whether that's you speaking or someone speaking to you. But a Tuesday um, is very significant for this, this message um, being relayed or received. We have personal style in the fifth, fourth and fifth house. So this is talking about early home foundations, where you grew up, where you came from, where you were born, um, and talking about how you lead yourself in creative ways, um, especially, um, you know, how you apply your romantic feelings to your creative outcomes. So this is talking about how you express yourself on the outside. So we've got personal style there. And we have container. Um, now, Spirit wanted me to point out with Virgo, so um, Virgo's energy is very much like um, your daily routines, service to work. It could also be health and fitness, okay? So that's that energy there. And then right central to you, Libra, we've got physics and astronomy. So this is like um, looking, looking out. Um, this is like sensing vibrations and frequencies. So scientists have been able to find formulas um, and equations to be able to analyze that type of information. But this is, this is you like um, tapping into frequencies that have to be calculated to some form to understand what's going on. And we've got astronomy. So this is, you know, the stars up in space. We've got the planets. Um, I know astronomy and astrology is different, but I like, I, I always associate astronomy with astrology. Okay, so this is mapping the stars, chasing the planets, seeing what's going on in the outer universe. All right. Um, so this could also be someone who's like following the moon cycles. Okay. We've got medical here, so um, medical, medical. So maybe someone um, you know or you're needing to do like, a, I'm getting like a stress test or a fitness test with this. Um, so check in with your medical team or this could be something that's already booked. All right, we've got the undertaker here. So this energy is like, um, for me, is is looking after, looking after things of, the past or those who have passed. Um, the undertaker also has a second meaning for me is that someone who's training to um, take someone, 
take someone's position, okay? So maybe there's someone in a leadership position who's actually got you in mind, Libra. Um, I nearly said Leo then. So Leo governs like, um, you know, yeah, your personal style is sort of sitting over Leo here. So this is talking about like you having the ability to train and then uptake that higher position as well, okay? We have fashion and jewelry. So a lot of like... Um, We've got like um, accentuating personal taste on the outside here, okay? Oh, lovely. And we've got a past loved one who's joined us here um, for your reading today. So welcome, past loved one. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Um, so um, if you do relate to a past loved one, so um, you'll have it by you knowing that person, you'll know when they're speaking through me or speaking to you or when I'm speaking to you and... You, you work out the messages, okay? So, all right. So, audio and speech for Tuesday. We've got creative director in the 12th house. Um, and loan up here. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull out the right of weight to row. i just seen the, um, we've got the Wheel of Fortune there and working really hard towards the goals that you've been manifesting and setting action to so that's beautiful yeah exactly so <laughs> whatever you've set out in plan um libra this is talking about you know you had an idea you've you've made um you've set forth some action to it and you've set that concept out to the world so you're waiting for this concept to come back to you um in full in full full swing basically okay <laughs> that's really cool all right so you've got a good idea there that's, that's bringing some fortune in for, um, for March 2024, okay. Also too, like our past loved ones know our intention and what we're thinking. So um, maybe that's that past one loved one saying, hey, you've got a really good idea there. Um, you know, what you've been working on and manifesting, you've got all of the abilities to, to bring that to fruition, okay. So that's really good energy. Um, all right. Okay, so let's go here. Let's start with the creative director in the 12th house. So what's this all about, spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we've got some spiritual or religious energy here. For those of you who have undertaken the um, university degree, there's some tie to the creative director. But this particular energy... Um, okay, spirit's just showing me a different way to read now. Um, and this card keeps falling... I've often for a lot of signs I've had this card falling out in this area um, so we've got someone here this energy this queen of wands is like a feminine energy so you could be a male in feminine energy um, or you can be a female utilizing your feminine energy okay but this card always for me connects to spirituality um, or religion if you're not a spiritual person I don't preach religion I'm not religious I'm fully spiritual okay but um, yeah, so if any of my messages that come through um, are contradicting your beliefs, please find another channel to, to read, okay? With all love that, with all the love said in, in mind with that, okay? Um, I don't want to obscure your beliefs if that's what you feel serves you well, okay? Um, so this energy, continuing on, um, this energy is talking about spirituality, um, the ability to connect with spirit, okay? Um, and I did pick that up here with the 12th house, okay? So, um... This is someone who, who's tapped into magic, okay, um, maybe has an understanding of magic or um, has the ability, the easy ability to use magic, okay. This, this wand here is pointing to, I feel like Spirit's asking me to start drawing out um, degrees, degrees of separation through the houses, okay. Um, okay, let's do this. One, two, three degrees of separation, okay, so there's, this energy here of, oh, okay, so the queen's actually looking over at audio and speech, um, and they just asked me to flip this card over for a quick second, post office, okay. All right, so there's something being sent or received. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <coughs> okay, so... Um, <coughs> For, for those Libras who are religious, sneezings are, um, they talk about truth. But this is like, for me, um, sneezing in this instance, there was a tickle in the nose. Um, 
So you, you're sensing something through smell that that's, um, seems to irritate. Irritate, okay? So that's the connection between the, the lungs and the nose, all right? So that energy is wanting to really come up, all right? So there's, there's a lot of speech here. Maybe this is like um, speaking out and talking about these matters, okay? So, all right, so please clarify this card, please. All right, love. Okay, so there's finding an equal balance with love here, okay? Um, one more, please, spirit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so what's actually coming in? Um, someone else's energy, if the cards are facing down, all right? And this energy is sitting very much over yours, your knowledge for spirituality or religion or your higher education, okay? This, for me... You've got you've got information coming through here, um, messages, and it's it's coming very quickly. All right, so there's fast action, fast movement, and it's with regards to delivery of sound frequencies. All right, um, this also gives me um, because we had post office here, so this is something in the physical that's being able to be received and um, interpreted. Okay, this energy is is talking about something that's going to fill your cup. So this is. This energy is going to balance out your masculine and feminine energies, okay? So we all have masculine and feminine energies and we all have an inner child. So um, when all of those energies are in balance, it's very easy to relate to people regardless if they are male or female or children, okay? Um, and I just, and they the Spirit said, what about elders or um, those who are older than us? So um, we communicate with our elders or those who are older than us through our personal life experiences so we can find a way to connect with them um, intellectually by also following their um, following their their journey and understanding their journey okay so that's that putting some type of wisdom in into that communication all right so you could be communicating with um, also too I just seen this is an offer of love okay so this is someone who's coming or you're offering love to someone okay so this is like um i i did spirit just quickly showed me like um a wedding scene like even though i don't usually pull marriage or weddings or ceremonies from this card they just showed me that um that energy quickly now i am getting some back pain here um in the lower right um, it's sort of mid-lower right, okay? So this is like a lot of tension in someone's back. Um, um, maybe someone's needing to do some breathing exercises here because um, that's like really sharp pain, okay? Um, yeah, so keep an eye on what usually back pain is, um, and it reminds me of a reading I've done that I haven't uploaded yet. It's 707 Spiritual Awakening. This is talking about experiencing pain in the back. It's because um, the, the, the body subconsciously is showing you or showing us that the load that you are carrying is the weight of the world, okay? So you, you might be doing a little bit too much, all right? So there's, there's energy there of needing to, to relax a little bit because... This energy is coming in really, really quickly. All right. So, Spirit, please confirm this audio speech here for Tuesday. All right. So we've got the um, we've got the Nine of Pentacles coming out over here. So these messages are connected. Um, Spirit wants you to be in. Don't forget your inner beauty, like your inner wisdom, your 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 ability to nurture yourself okay because especially if this is an offer of love this also has to be like it has to be equal right so spirits wanting you to be in your best when when this message is received okay um ultimately this feels positive though okay all right spirit so what is loan up over here Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. So someone else's energy over past loved ones. So this could be the past loved one speaking to this message. Okay. Um, what we have over here is your energy. Okay. So with regards to this loan, it's talking about, I'm going to put the cards the other way. So that's in the order of they fell so I can read it. Um, 
Okay, so with this particular loan, um, there are things attached, okay? Um, the Ten of Swords is, is for me, it speaks about um, being abandoned and betrayed, okay? So there's this, it, it is facing upwards, so to me that it's like releasing those uh, um, betrayals, okay? Um, but there's, there's something hidden within this, the currency of money, okay? So what this is, is like a, it's a quick loan or a quick fast movement, but there's something in the contract um, that's, it's like the words are misguiding or misleading, okay? So spirit just wants you to be mindful of that because the ace of swords upright is truth, okay? But um, this energy facing downwards is like, okay, so this past love one and the sword here is, is pointing right to this energy here and we'll find out what that is in a second. Um, but this loan has strings attached, okay? So we've got spells, hexes and curses and releasing those betrayals. Um, done by others there's fast movement but there's things that aren't being said um, clearly okay so there's misguided information within writing um, that you're needing to check out okay because there's something here you're not seeing with regards to the ties of this currency um, so just being mindful of that okay um, this card here is my spiritual warfare card and it's sitting upright okay so there's something in the context of this loan that actually um, you're not seeing okay and it could send um it could send someone into i just heard naivety and i don't mean that in a bad way but this is like um check you know please check 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 um that's what spirit's saying so spiritual warfare maybe um this energy is like you're already going through some type of um, warfare within the mind um, and spiritual warfare, this particular card for me is the energy and hexes of others um, placed over you. So this is like removing any of those beliefs, okay? Um, even though the eyes are covered, it's also the third eye here, okay? And while you go within to, you know, refine this contract or, you know, review these clauses, um, there's something hidden there that you want to bring up because we've got the moon here, okay? So moon, the moon's sort of spirit just said look at the moon as a horseshoe okay so the horseshoe is sitting empty right it's emptying out the luck when the horseshoe is up that's that's good energy okay so we're getting some type of um triple triple double triple check on this energy here okay um now let's have a look at this this card here okay so this past loved one saying um you have the means to succeed on your own here so they want you to double check, like, I'm not sure if this is like, what sort of loan is this for? Okay, it's connecting these two energies. Okay, so this loan, all right, so the, for those of you who are getting a loan for a house or um, thinking about building a we legacy, this that's very specific, okay? So maybe it could be talking about finding the and this is also sitting over the 8th house. So the 8th house deals with transformation and change. In regards to money, it's talking about joint finances and taxes um, as a mass, okay? So a group of people's finances, um, that type of thing. So there is, you know, be, be mindful of this. Maybe you might need to find a, a better institution. Look, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just reading through the energy. So if, if this message really resonates for you, check in with your financial advisor or your accountants, okay? Um, because there's some type of legality here with these swords, right? That's unknown, okay? But the intention here is like these two cards were facing down. So maybe this, this institution or the person or place or whatever the situation is where this loan's coming from, they're offering they're saying hey you know we support you and we want you to live happily with your family this type of stuff um but there are other things attached okay so maybe it might be all well and good in the beginning but then it's like over time it sort of sends someone into a lot of stress okay and having to move quickly so just be mindful of that um be mindful of that energy um so what's the guidance the other guidance here for this loan all right so 
it's talking about leadership, your creativity, and um, service to work, fitness routines, or health, okay? Someone else's energy. All right, Page of Swords, um, standing on this energy, basically, okay? So um, it's sitting over this, this plaque and pointing in this direction. So um, Page of Wands is sort of talking about You know, the ones of business, their fire, their action, their ideas, okay? But this is something that's not well studied, okay? So sorry to be, sorry to be, you know, um, I, I, sorry to give this message, but you need to double and triple check um, where this money's coming from and, you know, tap into the energy of how you're going to be able to um, pursue that over the period of the loan, okay? So there's something about that energy. There's just be mindful, spirits wanting you to be mindful of that. Um, okay, so I feel like someone asked me what happens if I go ahead or if I've already done the loan. Okay, so there is some justice here, um, but it's going through, it has to be through the means of the way you creatively direct things, okay? So um, contracts, you know, I think I think that contracts, like, you know, read the full fine print um, because there has to be balance between the parties, okay? This energy is talking about beliefs, but it's feeling undecided. So there's a lot of, like, um, younger or um, mis misunderstood or still learning about something here, okay? Um, so these are other people's energies. All right. I just want to tag them out. <laughs> okay. All right. So, okay. So there is some type of justice there, but it's like being mindful to protect yourself for future, um, issues. Okay. That's the energy that I'm getting. This card in particular, okay, so it's, it's sort of sitting over physics and astronomy, all right, and medical. So, yeah, looking, looking sort of all the way within and then looking all the way out, okay, the broader scheme of things. Okay, let me give this card a shuffle. Um, I haven't been tracking the planets, but the, you know, if anything's in retrograde, um, I've heard not to, not to process or sign documents during a planet in retrograde because things are like spinning backwards and then they're coming back out into their, into their, um, their journey. So maybe there needs to be a little bit of time, um, extra time taken. All right. So I'm just, just, just saying that. Okay. So, all right, they asked me to switch the decks. I'm going to bring some of the animals in. All right, so, yeah, we've got lovers and father of wands here. So, um, father of wands, this could be a masculine fire sign, um, a father figure um, that's, like, sort of going through epiphanies and transformations because of energies of love. Okay. Yeah, this this we're seeing a sp full spectrum of love here. All right, so spirit, please clarify this central energy for Libra for March. Ooh, okay. All right, Mother of Cups. So this is a mother figure, a feminine who's very caring and nurturing. Um, they're pointing at this justice here. All right, so um, Cups, um, which is water. Okay. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in particular, or this is talking about um, a feminine figure um, pointing out the emotional effects of having a justified outcome, all right? Um, with the, the father of wands, we're talking about the fire signs, okay? So that's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, just to, just to um, confirm. So there's also this energy of, I always get, I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. Um, but this card's in reverse. So that means that it's like, um, 
it's like uh, you can't be seen anymore or someone's like can't watch you or they're not watching you um, it's like they're unable to come towards you okay um, I will just clarify the name of that song just to respect for the artists um, Okay, so that's Rockwell, Somebody's Watching Me. So there could be some more, um, all right, Spirit just said, um, Spirit said read a section out. Um, <sighs> hmm. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching. Who's watching me? So this is giving like that past energy. I'm just an average man with an average life. I work from nine to five. Hell, pay hell, I pay the price. All I want is to be left alone in my average home. But why do I always feel like I'm in the twilight zone? Okay, so this energy is, um, I always feel like somebody's watching me and I got no privacy. Oh, okay. Um, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Tell me, is it just a dream? So this energy here that's being released, all right? So um, maybe like people in your close vicinity or like unable to see you anymore, or they're being blocked or they're like no longer in the same vicinity. So that energy is changing and shifting towards March. So it's like um, you're getting your privacy back a little bit more. Okay, so that's cool. All right. All right. So clarify the Mother of Cups here and pointing to the justice of the creative director. Okay. So we've got heavy masculine and feminine energies overarching. Um, Father of Pentacles and the Father of Wands coming out again. Okay. So Pentacles are earth signs. So. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, um, and then there's like, yeah, so there's, there's two father figures here, or this is talking about, um, there's some type of justice coming through for like the people who have led you or are leading you. Okay, so once again, like, you know, training um, to take up that next role or something like that. Um, okay, so if you are being shifted into higher earning incomes, then, um, yeah, like, they're probably saying, like, you can you can probably manifest this, this money in a different way and probably on your own. Okay, so there's something about that energy here coming in. This deer, I'm not sure what the significance of deers um they are, I think they are animals of the night, like, um, because the spirits are showing me, like, um, someone driving and seeing one on the side of the road and it's night time, okay, so this setting's placed at night time, so once again, bringing me back to the moons, the moon phases, okay, um, This is like heightened senses, especially at night, okay? Because this deer here, like presented in the nighttime, it's it's horns, right? So um, what do we call these? <laughs> um, it's horns, okay? It's it's the full color spectrum. So this is giving me like um, energy coming into the crown, all right? This is being able to see in the dark, so to speak, um, that type of energy. So that energy is being illuminated, okay? There is... um transformation over you know negativity and the things that have been said okay so there's something about being able to transform in a way okay um and this is sort of happening in of the night time okay all right so what we are going to do is we're just going to grab some of these little doobie whackers <laughs> um 
and we're going to see like what the messages are on top of these energies, okay? Yeah, so we've got written in codes there, so, you know, with this energy, clarify the coding, okay? And it's also got here, um, loading, please wait for assistance, okay? So spirits may be wanting you to hold hold on a little bit longer before, like, requiring or acquiring this load. Because um, maybe someone's, like, maybe it's a new institution who are offering, like, really good deals, but then, you know, um, overlooking the fine print, okay? So maybe the interest rate um, hikes up quite quickly um, without you expecting it, okay? So it's um, that type of energy. All right, spirit, thank you so much. Okay, so <laughs> we've got here um, someone in the fourth house is talking about home, family, where you grew up, where you came from, um, or where you currently live now. So this is energy is, I just want to thank you for everything you've done with a love heart here. So there's something here where you've supported someone in, in your home environment or like where you were growing up. Someone's maybe coming back in to say, hey, thank you so much, Libra. I really, really, really appreciate what you've done for me or for us or for, for the family, okay? So that's that beautiful energy there. Um, I, am, I am getting tingles everywhere, so this could be, yeah, we'll continue, okay? All right, what else? What else, Spirit? Okay. All right, so we've got birthmark here, so... Um, for those of you who are interested, birthmarks are believed um, <laughs> to be um, symbols of reincarnation, okay, so from past lives, all right, so um, I've said before in other readings, the birth is, um, being birthed is trauma, and then when, when someone passes, this is talking about the reflection of trauma, okay, and so birthmarks leave the reflection of trauma through transition. So this is saying like there's some type of connection here from a past life where you're, there's some type of justice here in the in the present life, all right? So this is talking about over here sitting with these messages coming in, an argument about you has changed everything, but you don't even know about it, okay? So this could be like, um, all right, clarify that spirit, that energy there. Okay, yeah, they said spot on. All right, so spot on, and we've got, listen carefully, someone's opinion is dissuading them to think of you as the one. Okay, so someone's here, someone's fighting for you. Um, they're, they're, they're arguing with someone else, and they're fighting for you, okay? Um, and what this is is saying, cut the cord, let go of emotional attachments. All right, so that's however that energy resonates, okay? All right. Um, da -da 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 -da. um, I just heard George Thorogood, Bad to the Bone, from the day I was born, nurses all gathered round, from the east of wide wonders, uh, um, from the joy they'd found, the head nurse stood, stood up, yeah, she said, hey, leave this one alone, I can tell by the way. He's bad to the bone. <laughs> bad to the bone. All right, I'm getting chills everywhere. Okay, so there's there's that energy here of like letting go and cutting cord of cord attachments. All right, um, but there's like some type of. <laughs> Sorry, I just that song keeps playing in my head. Um, I broke a thousand I broke a thousand heart hearts before I met you. I'll, I'll break a thousand more baby before I'm through. Okay, so um, spirit's wanting to warn you about that energy there. Okay, take that how it resonates. All right, spirit, so clarify this energy up here, please. And they said to flip some over. Um, just heard a horn, so that's like uh, confirmation. All right, all right, yeah, so spirit's wanting you to say no to this loan. Okay, that came out very loud and clear. Um, all right. Cool. What else? I wasn't allowed to forget, but I have forgotten. This is a lesson learned. So there's a deep lesson here about, about this energy. So please take that how it resonates, Libra. All right. So let's clarify this central energy here, spirit. Okay. 
All right. Whoa. All right, we've got someone's looking for you and that was about to fall on the ground in the second and third house. So this is talking about your personal possessions, how you earn your money. All these are like someone's thinking about looking for you, okay? So they've got you on your mind. This person has control issues, so make some space. And the way you do what you do is amazing. We need you and please say yes. Okay, so there's something like that energy there. All right, you're being guided to simplify your routine so that you can make these decisions clearly for yourself. Um, with the two of swords there, we did have, yeah, we've got spells, magic and witchcraft, okay, and on the mind. So that's exactly what that card's showing there. And we also have, um, you know, this spiritual energy here. So that's like spiritual energies times three, okay. Spells, magic and witchcraft, okay, on the mind and mental. Um... You pushed me aside to compete for their love when you lost me instead. I feel lighter. Okay, so there's some type of um, transition or a shift. Someone's coming or going out of your life. Um, and um, it's actually going to make you feel better because there's something about easing the mind. Okay, so something that's being said over time has dampened someone's mind. That's, that's what I'm getting. Now we've got here third house, five degrees of separation. All right, so you being number one, there's a connection to you knowing someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone, okay? That's that energy there. Um, these cards came out together. So we've got virginity, only you know who, a handbag with lots of pockets, look deeper. And then there was something about this connection being seriously real. So with like... Um, there's something, what's what's that about spirit? This connection being seriously real. So that maybe there's like a big lesson in this. Okay, so they're asking me to read these in reverse, which I don't usually do. So um, I'd give anything for you to see me. So someone's not, someone's, um, we've got young ones in a locket, jewelry and charms, okay? Um, so in reverse is, you know, someone's not wanting to see someone anymore. They're not considered a young person, but perhaps they behave a little bit immaturely. This is just the energy I'm getting. Um, and there's something about some jewelry being removed. So we've got jewelry out here twice. Okay. All right. Um, all right. That's, that was quite, um, there was a, that was like really forward. Um, okay, so take that how it resonates. I am gonna get some Oracle guidance for you, Libra, the wild wisdom of Australia. Tell by the way, bad to the bone, bad to the bone. B -b 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 <laughs> All right, so we've got the crocodile showing up here for tenderness. Okay. Crocodile number 32. All right, so we've got honor, challenges, collective, unconscious, tenacity, and timing. Do you feel your potential? The crocodile asks you to look at fear as an opportunity to grow and to own your own power. Okay, so I'll just hold that there. Um, for those of you who, because we've got the astronomy energy coming out, if you're doing your birth chart or natal chart, jump onto Google and type in free birth chart or free natal chart. Um, pop in your details there. It's going to give you a full report. But when you look at the... Um, at the grid of where the, the planets and the stars are. This is the energy of checking what planets in your eighth house that will reveal the fears that you have that you were born with. Okay. Um, and this is giving me that birthmark energy coming in. So being reincarnated is um, cleansing out past life um, learnings. Okay. So looking into your shadow self will help you understand some darker aspects of your soul so you can release negative emotions and embrace your tender side. Crocodiles are masters of timing and patience. Are you trying to rush a project or an endeavor? A crocodile asks you to be patient and if you hurry things you may miss opportunities along the way. 
In the physical world, crocodiles use their power, strength, speed and patience as a mean of survival. However, the crocodile is one of the more genu gentle, I wanted to say genuine, animals, um, animal guides and comes in to remind you to tap into your courage and strength. When they swim into your life, there is an opportunity to seek new wisdom. There are new beginnings around personal growth. So the crocodile also relates to emotions and are you in touch with your true feelings in all situations? Let the feelings surface, recognize them and release them to the cosmos. So the crocodile comes up or you can call on the crocodile energy when you need to learn some patience, to tap into your inner strength, to release stagnant emotions or when looking for ancient wisdom or when you want to get in touch with your shadow self. Okay, the, sh the advice here is that you, Libra, are so much more powerful than you realize. And the chakra that's associated with this card is the sacral chakra, Svadhisthana. Your color for March is orange. Okay, so this is like cleansing the stomach area and boosting in creativity. Um, and this is helping like your, your mind get clarity. Okay, so the mantra here is I create the life that I want. I am the master of my potential. So Libra, you create the life that you want because you are the master of all of your potential, okay? That was, um, that was quite forward, so I'm really sorry for the directness, but I have to, as a reader um, and using my intuition, I have to honour the things that I'm shown, the cards that have come out, um, the feelings that I'm getting, okay? So please take the messages how they resonate. Um, and yeah, I'm getting this, like this beautiful en energy here and you know, the crocodile always protects its sensitive space. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here. So Libra, thank you for your energy. I hope you're looking forward to March because there are, um, you know, releasing spells, hexes and curses, which is amazing. Um, you're being guided to wait, wait out this loan or say no to that particular institution because there's something in the fine print that I feel like you will discover over time that makes so much sense and you'll be glad um, that you waited or chose a different space okay um, all right there is love coming in though so but there has to be some type of transition or shift okay um, all right, so until the next reading, Libra, take care and bye for now.